About 6,000 years ago during the Stone Age in what is now Croatia, dozens of people were murdered and buried together in a mass grave. And archaeologists have new clues about what may have happened. The pit was discovered in 2007 when a man in a small village was building a new garage. And there'd been a lot of rain that summer. The rain exposed a pit with about 41 skeletons. And luckily there were archeologists from the University of Zagreb in Croatia working on a survey nearby. So they were able to get to the pit and inspect it almost immediately. Just from their initial analysis, they, uh, they were able to tell that this was not a contemporary massacre. This, was, this wasn't something that had happened in modern times because uh, first they looked for objects in the pit. Uh, if it were a contemporary massacre, they would probably have found something like uh, bullets or modern clothing, and they didn't find any of that. Uh, then they also checked the uh, skulls uh, for, for dental fillings. Didn't find any of those either. Uh, and then they found some pieces of what looked like prehistoric pottery. And so they already, they already suspected that this, was, uh, this massacre was quite old. And then when they radiocarbon dated the skeletons and soil from the pit and the fragments of pottery, they found that indeed this was something that had happened around 4200 BCE. Recently, researchers conducted further analysis of the skeletons, uh, as well as genetic analysis to try and figure out more about who these people may have been and what might have happened to them. And to find out what they learned, I talked to the lead author of a new study, Mario Novak, the head of the Laboratory for Evolutionary Anthropology and Bioarchaeology at the Institute for Anthropological Research in Zagreb, Croatia. We took them to the bioarchaeological lab laboratory and gave them like a preliminary analysis. First, we, thought, uh, we saw a couple of, uh, couple of injuries that resembled typical gunshots to the back of the head, typical executions. So we thought this is something, let's call it forensic. We took samples of human bones for radio, direct radiocarbon dating. Uh, the samples from the uh, top of the pit, from the middle point of the pit, and from the bottom of the pit to get different, uh, basically, uh, layers. All three samples basically gave the same result. They all uh, overlapped, dated to 4200 BCE. So basically, that's a, that, that confirmed its uh, archaeological context, not not forensic. And that uh, that couple of pottery fragments that are, that are, that I've mentioned, basically they uh, they can be dated to the same time to the so-called uh, Lasinia uh, uh, Copper Age Lasinia culture. Uh, we thought this is either a result of some kind of a massacre, or it could be maybe some kind of uh, these people died of of uh, some kind of infectious disease. We all know about the, the uh, Black Death Plague in the 14th century medieval Europe, where people were dying like like flies, and they were just, you know, the victims were just thrown into mass burials. So these were two main scenarios. But after the after the analysis, when we saw a, a lot of uh, a lot of these injuries on the back, of, mostly on the back of the head, the injuries that were the direct cause of death, uh, the only basic, the only the only plausible scenario was uh, was a massacre. Uh, and and afterwards, when we uh, looked at the uh, sex of the of the deceased and their age of death, we noted that, that there were both both uh, sex uh, males and females were involved. Uh, the youngest individual have, was about three years old. The youngest victim, basically, was about three years old, and the oldest one was around uh, 50 years of age. So we have uh, all age groups, both uh, both sexes. We didn't see any facial injuries, no uh, no defensive injuries whatsoever. And in these face-to-face uh, -face combats, uh, most of the victims are adult males, males between 20 and 40 years of age. And in this case, we didn't have any defensive wounds, no facial injuries, only the injuries on the back of the head. So, so how do you make the jump from uh, from figuring out figuring out that aspect of what you're looking at to what might have led to that kind of indiscriminate killing in that kind of ancient society? Since this is a, an ancient massacre, it happened over 6,000 years ago. Obviously, we don't have any written records about this time. We don't have, obviously, any <laughs> witnesses. Uh, so we only have uh, what we call circumstantial, uh, basically, evidence. And the problem is we only have uh, the archaeological context is very, very scarce. We only have uh, the skeletons of the victims. We don't, we don't have anything, anything on, nor uh, any, any objects that might belong to, to the, to the attackers. So. Uh, this is this is a very uh, hard thing to 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 hypothesize what 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 might be the cause. Once researchers had ruled out all these other possibilities, what was left? 
Well, they think that the likeliest explanation is probably one that has been applied to similar mass graves dating to about 5,000 years ago in Germany and Austria, which is that climate change or perhaps a sudden population boom was responsible. So in a large, stable, generally homogenous population, a drought or flooding or something that upset the balance of what resources were available to them may have led to internal squabbling over precious resources that they needed to survive. And that could have led to a deadly encounter and even a slaughter such as the one that happened in Croatia 6,000 years ago.